Hey there, what have you done by close of play? Sharon horn from here. And our idiom today for Super Size Your Business is close of play. Close of play is uh, an expression or an idiom that comes from the end of the day play in a couple of sports. Cricket originally, it came from the end of the day. Maybe the cricket match isn't 100% over. It's not to be confused with the same as the end of the game. It's just where you are at play at the end of the day. It also applies to tennis, where they call stumps. Stumps is, in tennis, where you end up at the end of the day. Not to be confused with set or match or the end of a competition. It's where do you end up at the end of the day. So in tennis and cricket both, the expression close of play means where you at at the end of the day. And that's spread, of course, to America and England, to corporate America and to business, and applies to, uh, it's a timing the end of the day usually when you say hey get me that report by close of play or get me that uh information by the end of the day or get me the contracts by uh the end of day close of play close of play means end of day by the end of the current day we're in or in emails or written or verbal communications we often say get me that whatever it is that you want piece of information give me the contracts i was in real estate for a long time so get me the contracts by close of play tomorrow or close of play Thursday or close of play today. But if I say just by close of play, it infers end of the current day we're talking about, unless I specify another day. What are some other ways of saying close of play? Hey, get me the contract by a specific date. But instead of saying the specific date, you can say close of play, end of day, uh, COB, is close of business being usually close of business the current day as well as close of play um, end of business meaning end of business today business time might vary but normal for your industry or your business if your business closes at five o'clock the end of the day close of play would be five o'clock today unless you specify hey end of day close of play tomorrow so it's just a shorthand way of communicating with people it, it can be abbreviated cop close of play EOD, COB, EOB, EOP, end of play, all different ways of saying it, but they all mean the same thing. So what have you, with respect to business, it's a communication tool, but what have you accomplished and what do you set for yourself as things that you want to accomplish every day by the end of the day? I used to, when I was in corporate America, had a rule for myself that I would not go home, I would not leave the office on Friday unless I had less than 10 emails in my inbox 10 emails 10 things to carry over to deal with but everything else had to be dealt with now i got hundreds of emails a day so that was no small feat but during the week i would plug away at them and chuck and chunk things down handle them once only touch them once but there were always things that needed to be dealt with in a much bigger way so instead of putting them in folders and forgetting about them i'd leave them in my inbox but i could not have more than 10 things that carried over over the weekend and usually I dealt with those things over the weekend. Shame on me, you know, bad mom, good good employee, uh, dealing with work at home. But I wouldn't leave the office until I had less than 10. Now, since my vision tanked, I think I have 40,000 emails in my inbox. And I do not check my email. If you want to get in touch with me, don't email me unless you call me or text me or message me directly ahead of time, letting me know that I should check my email. My kids are now fully trained and the people that I deal with on a regular basis that you know, you're much better off finding other ways to contact me than my email because it might sit in there for months unless you say, hey, I sent you this email two months ago and then I have somebody go look for it for me. Otherwise, I don't get to it. So what habits, what things you do every day that help you to be more efficient, more effective and to get the results that you want on a, a regular basis? Those are the things that I look at and I hold myself accountable for close of play, end of day, however you describe it. And I have built several of those things into my life so that I automatically am moving toward the results that I want. And I recommend the people that I work with do the same. Don't have to. Everybody gets to do what they want to do. But if we want things to happen automatically for us, there's easy ways we can do it or there's hard ways we can do it. I, as I get older, vote for the easy ways every time. So I have time to play with my nieces and nephews and granddaughters and uh, friends and family and people I love hanging out with. Share in the comments below your experience with this idiom, this expression, close of play. I don't know that I've ever before researching this actually said, hey, close of play. I always would use end of the day 
or I would use the specific date and time that I had an expectation of some be thing being to me because I found that the more clear we are in our communication, the more direct we are with people, the more we share our expectations, the more our expectations are met. Amazing how that works. That's it. Go out and have an awesome day. I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it in your business and your life right now? Take care.